ever wondered about the marvels Venice hides in its heart? Let's start with the iconic St. Mark's Square. Often referred to as the heart of Venice, St. Mark's Square, or Piazza San Marco, serves as the city's main public square. Encircled by historic buildings, each with its unique story, the square echoes with the whispers of the past. Imagine the Doge's Palace once the residence of the ruler of Venice standing tall, its Gothic architecture a testament to Venice's rich history. Then there's St. Mark's Basilica, a stunning example of Byzantine architecture, its mosaics and marble columns a feast for the eyes. The square is not just about its buildings, it's a vibrant stage where life unfolds in all its Italian splendor. With street artists performing, cafes serving delightful gelatos and espressos, and the soothing sound of the nearby lagoon, it's a place that captivates every visitor. St. Mark's Square, a place where history and beauty intertwine, setting the stage for the magic that is Venice. Next, we sail along the mesmerizing Grand Canal. As the main waterway of Venice, the Grand Canal sweeps us away into a world of grandeur and romance. Dotted with stunning palaces and churches, each building tells a tale from a bygone era. Look around, and you will see an eclectic mix of architectural styles, from Byzantine to Baroque, Gothic to Neoclassical, creating a visual symphony that plays along the water's edge. But it's not just about the buildings. The Grand Canal is a living, breathing entity. Here, the classic gondolas glide gracefully, ferrying love-struck couples beneath the ancient bridges. These gondolas, the iconic symbol of Venice, add a touch of romance to the canal, making it a place of dreams and memories. As we drift along, the stunning views of the cityscape reflected in the shimmering waters remind us of the city's enduring charm. The Grand Canal, a mirror reflecting Venice's timeless elegance. Now, let us cross the renowned Rialto Bridge, the oldest and most celebrated bridge spanning Venice's Grand Canal. As we traverse its arch, we are stepping on centuries of history. Erected in the late 16th century, the Rialto Bridge has been the heart of Venetian commerce and social life for over four centuries. Imagine the countless Venetians and visitors who have marveled at the panoramic views of the canal from this very spot. To the left, right, and beneath, a symphony of gondolas, vaporettos, and water taxis create a mesmerizing aquatic ballet. The bridge is not only a pathway, but a destination in itself. Its bustling markets are a feast for the senses. The Rialto Market, brimming with fresh produce, seafood, and local delicacies, invites a journey of culinary discovery, while its surrounding shops offer a plethora of Venetian souvenirs. The Rialto Bridge, a testament to Venice's enduring allure. From the bridge we step into the magnificent Doge's Palace, a testament to Venice's illustrious history. Known in Italian as Palazzo Ducale, this architectural masterpiece showcases the grandeur of Venetian Gothic style, an enchanting fusion of Eastern and Western design elements. Serving as the residence of the Doge, the supreme authority of the Venetian Republic, this palace was the epicenter of power and politics. In its vibrant history spanning over a thousand years, the palace bore witness to countless intrigues, grand receptions, and the administration of Venetian justice. Today, it stands as a museum, a treasure trove of Venetian art and history. As you wander through its grand halls, you'll marvel at the intricate frescoes, majestic staircases, and the opulent chambers that whisper tales of a bygone era. The Doge's Palace, a symbol of Venice's rich past, continues to captivate us, reminding us of the city's glorious days as a major maritime power. It's more than just a palace, it's a journey through time. A stone's throw away, we find ourselves before the awe-inspiring St. Mark's Basilica. A stunning testament to the grandeur of Byzantine architecture, the basilica is an ornate spectacle that captivates the senses. Its domes and arches, adorned with golden mosaics, narrate biblical tales and scenes from Venice's history. Each stone, each tile, is a piece of a larger, intricate puzzle, coming together to form a magnificent tableau of artistry and devotion. Nestled in the heart of St. Mark's Square, the basilica stands as a beacon of Venetian heritage and faith. Its towering arches and majestic domes are a sight to behold against the Venetian skyline. Inside, the opulent Polidoro altar screen, studded with thousands of precious gems, dazzles visitors with its sheer magnificence. St. Mark's Basilica is more than just a building. It's a symbol of Venice's rich history, its deep-rooted faith, and its enduring love for beauty and art. St. Mark's Basilica, a marvel that leaves every onlooker spellbound. Venturing into the heart of the city, we discover the historic Venetian ghetto, a testament to the resilience and enduring spirit of its people. 
Established in the 16th century, this area was the first Jewish ghetto in the world, offering a sanctuary for Jews fleeing persecution. The Venetian ghetto is a treasure trove of cultural heritage. Its five synagogues, each representing a different ethnic group within the Jewish community, are architectural marvels that tell tales of a rich and diverse culture. The German synagogue, the largest and oldest, is a standout, with its Baroque interior and striking wooden arc. Let's not forget about the cuisine. The ghetto is a hub for kosher eateries, offering a smorgasbord of traditional Jewish delicacies. From savory latkes to sweet rugelach, these dishes are a celebration of Jewish culinary traditions. The Venetian ghetto, a living history book of Venice, stands as a symbol of survival, resilience, and the enduring power of community. Leaving the mainland, we find the shimmering island of Murano, a place where the air is thick with creativity and the legacy of master artisans. This island is world-renowned for its centuries-old tradition of glassmaking, a craft passed down through generations. The island's vibrant soul is reflected in every piece of glass, each one a testament to the skill and passion of its creators. As we explore this island, we come across various glass-blowing demonstrations. These are spectacles of heat, molten glass, and human skill, where seemingly ordinary materials are transformed into extraordinary works of art. It's here that you can truly appreciate the artistry, patience, and precision that goes into every single piece of Murano glass. The journey doesn't stop there, for the island is teeming with glass galleries. Each one is a treasure trove of vibrant vases, intricate sculptures, and delicate jewelry, all waiting to be discovered. Murano, an island where art comes alive in the form of glass. Next, we sail to the vibrant Burano Island. A captivating spectacle of technicolor splendor awaits us here. Imagine a palette of bright blues, radiant reds and gleaming yellows, each house a different hue, creating a kaleidoscope of colors that dance on the island's canals. This isn't just a charming display, it's a centuries-old tradition, with homeowners needing a government permit to change their home's color. But Burano's vibrancy isn't confined to its houses alone. The island is also famous for its intricate lacework, a craft passed down through generations. A visit to the Lace Museum reveals the painstaking detail and craftsmanship that goes into each piece. Once queen of the Adriatic Sea's textile industry, Burano's lace is an exquisite testament to the island's rich history. From its rainbow of houses to its delicate lace, Burano is a sensory delight, a living canvas of color and creativity. Burano, a picturesque island that paints a perfect picture of Venetian charm. Back on the mainland, we visit the modern art sanctuary, the Peggy Guggenheim Collection, nestled in the heart of Venice, in the Grand Palazzo Venier de Leoni on the Grand Canal. This museum is a beacon for art lovers worldwide. Peggy Guggenheim, an American heiress and bohemian, transformed this unfinished 18th-century palace into a vibrant hub for modern art. Here, you'll find an eclectic mix of works from the most influential artists of the 20th century. Picasso, Pollock, Kandinsky, and many others grace the walls of this Venetian gem. This collection is more than just a museum. It's a testament to Peggy Guggenheim's passion for art and her dedication to nurturing artistic talent. It's a space where creativity thrives amidst the antique charm of Venice, bridging the gap between the contemporary and the historical. The Peggy Guggenheim Collection where modern art finds a home in historic Venice. Finally, we come to the legendary Bridge of Sighs. This historical marvel, named Ponte dei Sospiri in Italian, is a symbol of Venice's intriguing past. It's not just another architectural masterpiece, it's a silent storyteller. Built in the 17th century, this enclosed limestone bridge once served a grim purpose, connecting the interrogation rooms in the Doge's Palace to the new prison. The bridge's melancholic name comes from the legend that prisoners crossing it would sigh at their final glimpse of Venice's beauty before facing their fate in the dank cells. But, there's also a more romantic folklore. It's said that if a couple kisses under the bridge at sunset while riding in a gondola, they'll be granted eternal love and happiness. Whether you're a history buff, a hopeless romantic, or a curious traveler, the Bridge of Sighs never fails to fascinate. The Bridge of Sighs, a silent storyteller of Venice's past. So these are the top 10 must-visit places in Venice, Italy's floating city, waiting to bewitch you with its charm.